Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hi, welcome back everyone. This is case number 12 in GIT Contrast Studies. The patient is 12 year old patient presented with dyspepsia and vomiting for 2 months duration. So this is the anteroposterior spot radiograph in the barium meal series. So you can see distended stomach here yeah, is the stomach. It is normal in position and however it is distended. You don't see the regular ruge pattern. So ruge pattern is absent and you can see a mottled appearance. There's a mottled appearance. So and uh, also the however the outline is normal. Regular outline is seen and there are dots like appearance and some intermittent or dot like filling defects you can see multiple dot like filling defects and has a motile appearance however the gastroesophageal junction at the normal position and dj flexure is at the normal position you can see the passage of contrast to the duodenum and the upper jejunum so so there's no uh, obstruction obstructive lesions in this one no leakage of contrast no fistula tracts and uh, you see some opa linear opacities here yeah. so there's evidence of previous surgery in this patient uh, no bone abnormalities the diagnosis in this case is gastric bizarre. So the differential diagnosis is neoplastic lesion. Neoplastic lesion you have to consider particular infiltrative lesion in the stomach uh, because stomach is distended and the normal ruge pattern is disrupted. So However, this is the typical appearance in gastric bizarre. So the next uh, investigation is ultrasound abdomen and uncontrast CT abdomen. And uh, actually when we talk about gastric bizarre, actually it's the bizarre means the ingestion of uh, undigested material into the GI tract. So they retain within the stomach. Uh, they are not digested. And uh, there are a few types. One common type is trichobisova, that means ingestion of uh, hair by children. This is mainly seen in children. Another one is phytobisova, that means uh, in ingestion of uh, undigested particles or food and retain them in the stomach. They are seen in the elderly people due to uh, maldigestion of the food particles. There are some other categories like uh, pharmacobisova and lactobisova. So actually in this patient is a child so there are similar there were similar episodes previously and underwent a surgery to remove these hair particles so hair foreign bodies and again the patient presented with similar symptoms now again the patient has to undergo a surgery to remove this hair particles or sometimes endoscopic removal also possible. So that concludes case number 12 in GIT series. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.